So this is the year 2012. This is the year 2012. That was my first year. That is now when I have joined the cult. Now, you, you said you were told that uh, six people will die in every year. Uh, your brother was the first one to die. Yeah. Did now the other five? My mother and my son died on the spot. But the driver not even a scratch. My mom. These things, uh, they are planned and they go the way they want. Not even a scratch. And that is when now my heart broke and that is when I broke. I couldn't do anything. I had nothing to do. I couldn't do anything. I, I hadn't decided. I, I did not know what to do, not what to go. I don't know, I'm not even speaking to my wife these days. I'm so withdrawn because it, it hasn't settled with me and I'm not ready to accept that. I even removed the ring, as you can see, I don't have that ring. And it's been a, since October last year, up to now, it's been hard. Welcome to Tabiri Homes and Properties. We are located in Roiro Kimbo at Spa Mall, first floor, room F39. We always ensure our clients are well served. We are selling plots in Kilimambogo, a project we are calling Mountain View Gardens. This project is located 40 minutes from Thika Town and 10 minutes from Oldon Sabuk National Park and 20 minutes from Kangundo Ruai bypass these plots they are 50 by 100 piece of plots and they are going for 310,000 kenya shillings only for cash buyers and you can still pay this plot in installment you just need to deposit 50,000 kenya shillings and clear the balance in six months installments and this amount is inclusive of your title deed remember upon completion of your installment you will get your title deed in less than 60 days we take our clients to a site visit every wednesday and every saturday at 10 a.m book your site visit today and invest with Tabir Homes and Properties Limited and be a happy client today. You can call us 0719393939. Tabiri Homes and Properties Limited. Invest with us and protect your future and that of your generation. So maybe you can tell us, uh, Pastor, uh, because you have said about the ring. And uh, this ring you ume uli toa, it has been now like four months because from October up to now is like four months. Eh? Uh, uneza sema, maybe ah, watu umekua kikutafuta because of that ring hauna ama umekua, umekua waki, wakifanya nini for now because umenyamaza na hauna hiyo ring. Mm, Maina, let me tell you something. Just like I said, it hasn't been easy since I left. And we did not part in good terms. And yeah, I have received even messages, threats, even physical threats. Like, they have sent people to me, they have sent big people to even try to talk to me, see if I could go back talk things with them, but I have decided this is ending. I cannot continue doing this. I can't do this anymore. Okay. I'm, I'm experiencing a lot of emotions right now. Uh, since I'm thinking about my family, thinking about what will happen next. I'm human. And I think it has come to an end, even for me. All I'm seeking right now is, if there is salvation for me, then yes. But right now, I don't think I'm going back, no matter how many threats they send me, no matter who they will send to me, uh, I don't think I'm going back. Just, just a few days, I even saw uh, an artist 
came to me asking me where did I go or what is happening, what's wrong. Let me tell you, Maina, a lot of these artists you're seeing out here who are singing songs they are part of this cult. And believe me not, they are using the power of darkness to shine. Just like I did. Mtu anataka kujulikana sasa anataka Yeah 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 that is what they are doing. It's a long story if I start telling you right now it would be it to be a story. Let me just take it uh, to a story of another day. Cuz just like I told you I'm risking about telling you this. Just giving you my story is risk enough. If I started touching anyone now they won't be talking to me. It will be blood for blood. And there are things that I want to do. So let us just leave it at that. Um, be, uh, um, you know, I, I'm trying to, 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 to be an, a viewer also when I'm doing this uh, interview. Right now, I'm also afraid eh? <laughs> and uh, shocked because of the things that you have you have told us. Eh? Maybe you know, me uh, come a viewer, nikijweka kwa you know, pakiya tu ya our viewer. I'm sure waneza uliza who you mtu ni pastor amesema ana sacrifice six people per year that is 60 people in 10 years sasa mpaka watu wake wamekufa mtoto mama brother wanaweza ogopa you know people can wanaweza kuwa na ile uoga because yeah you know this is a church as i started the show saying that you know a pastor uh, should be you know a person who you know a father if you are a, you are a man of god you are a father to father the, the you know souls to rescue the people that you know, they are going through hell and not be like a lion who feed on the sheep but what i'm sure what one is a julism as well they are asking themselves a lot of questions would you reveal your identity because the purpose of coming to Kamunja show you told me that you wanted to enlighten people mimi kama viewer naweza taka kujua ni nani huyu who is this pastor ako wapi ako kanisa yake inaitwa gani do you have that maybe purpose ya yeah. have you purposed to reveal yourself maybe you can tell me if you are okay to say your name, to say the name of the church, and uh, you, Ikoapi, are you ready to do that for the sake of our viewers who are watching us? Kamuhunja, uh, this is just the beginning. What I'm doing right now, I came and looked for you, and you heard my story, and we are hearing it right now. This is just the beginning. There's a lot that I need to do. And if I was to come out right, right now, uh, that would hinder a lot of knowledge that people need to know that I need to give them. But it's on the plan and it's going to happen. Like right now, when I'm talking to you, there is, there is a lot of people who will know this church and they will connect the dots, they will know which pastor. And, but for me, right now, let me just continue. First of all, I give them this information. Then, when I find clarity and everything, I'll find the right moment and I will come out. But before I do that, I'll give them the information that they need. This, 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 these times are hard. And it's very not easy for one to even 
know who to trust or anything. And I'm telling people, they should be afraid. No one should, know, no one should tell them not to be afraid. The world is at its peak of sin right now. People should be afraid and should watch out who they trust their souls with and who they believe more. Is it God or man? Because men out here are just men and they will do anything. But for now, what I'm urging people is they should pray for themselves. Really, really trust in the Lord and always, always remember to pray for themselves. Even if you have a man of God on your side and you trust them, just always remember to pray for yourself and ask for guidance. That's all I'm going to say right now. But just like I said, it's risky. And before maybe my end comes, I want people to have known this story. And also if forgiveness might come, I will hope that they forgive me. Yeah. Do you, do you, as we wind up, do you believe in deliverance? Do, do you believe you can be delivered from all that? Yeah, and that is why I'm telling you there is, there is a plan. There is what I'm waiting to do. And I'm really looking, it's also hard for me, I'm really looking forward to meet a man of God. And just like I said earlier, for people to pray for themselves, I'm also praying for guidance. Hopefully that God will hear me out and maybe deliver me to the right man that will help me start a good, uh, restart my life holistically and also maybe be on the right side spiritually with God. And how what about the Mkiwa, now the Archbishop? Would they come for you? Mina, if I'm right with the Lord, if I'm right with God, I'm not afraid. Whatever they decide to do, because the only thing I have right now to lose is my life. I'm ready, but I want to be right with God. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, uh, it, 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 you know, this, it may, I'm, I'm shocked, eh? but what I know is, uh, yeah, it is true, God delivers and he can save you. And um, kindly, after, because you have said that uh, there are things that you are working out, and uh, when you have sorted them, you will reveal your identity. Don't you think when you, maybe you come out, uh, maybe it will be you know, very hard for you to continue, you know, ministry because who would want to come to your church after learning all that? I will accept whatever fate that befalls on me. Whatever God decides to do with my life, then that is what I'm going to do. But right now, I'm dedicated to just prayer and asking for forgiveness. That is what is so important to me right now. What God will plan for my life after this is what I accept. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing your story. And uh, uh, we pray that uh, may God see, see you through in whatever you are planning. And uh, we'll be very happy also when you, you, know, you, you sort your, you, you know, your things out so that you can be able to call me. So even when you are revealing the identity and all the things that you have you know, planned, eh, uh, we will be happy uh, to air it on Kamuhunji show and enlighten our viewers. Uh, so guys, uh, you know, this is a very, very uh, shocking story. And I don't want it to end it. To, to end here because I want us to be enlightened more by a member of the clergy and uh, will be uh, I, I personally have decided that it is good uh, to seek more information about this issue because at the end of the day 
even if we have had such stories, it is also good to know that uh, we should also seek more information about these stories. And by that, I want us to talk to one woman that uh, uh, we always, uh, you know, seek help from on especially on Kamhunja show and I'm sure other people uh, they know this woman Apostle Teresia and uh, I will be joining her uh, you know so that we can be able to discuss more about these issues and God will bless us all so that we can be able to gain a lot of knowledge about these issues not to do a um, Karma, because you know, at the end of the day, at least the same uh, churches at at Uta Enda, because you know, you have to access a history, and as a same, maybe what if we can say, what if we are going to say, I am sure, kill them to an as a jewelry, the evil, but should we stop to go to church? So, these are the things that we'll be talking about with her as we wait for uh, Pastor Amos uh, to tell us or to reveal his identity as he. Uh, sort his uh, you know things out and he will be telling us on Kamuhunja show very soon so god bless you as we join apostle thank you guys for tuning in and of course uh, we appreciate the effort that you have been showing Kamuhunja show and the reason as to why i'm doing this is because uh, it is good to get more information from uh, the people that we respect in our society and uh, I decided to look for you know the woman that we have uh, you know loved for so many years I make work on show and uh, she is part of the clergy member in Kenya and she is no other than Apostle Teresia Jenga and that is why I've decided to look for her because she has a lot of wisdom she can enlighten us about you know discernment you know of churches and i'm sure we will be able to learn a thing or two god bless you for joining us Asante sana. thank you so much for having me amen and thank you so much for uh, this program amen amen amen, amen. Asante sana. yes na sana sana ile swali watu wanauliza tukianzia mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. the story that i did mm -hmm. ni kuhusu uh, discernment yes what wana fa waacha kwenda kanisa because hizo vitu zenye zinaonekana kwa mtandao yes what waacha kwenda kanisa yeah number 1 mm -hmm. uh, nashukuru sana kwa sababu mm -hmm. when that message came to you mm -hmm. and you aired it mm -hmm. you also seek to solve the puzzle mm -hmm. watu wasibaki kama wameshindwa ni, mm -hmm. ni kanisa tutawacha eh. ni wachungaji tutawachana nao mm -hmm. or what do we do mm -hmm. The Bible says in the book of Psalms mm. 11 verse 3, mm. if the foundation be shaken, mm -hmm. what will the righteous do? Misingi mm kitikisika, -hmm. watakatifu watafanyaje. Because at the end of it, he misingi natikisika, it is in between the believers. Mm -hmm. Hapa kuna watakatifu, watu ambao wanampenda mungu, watu ambao wanajua kwa babiguni kuna mungu, na lazima wafuate jia za mungu. Sasa hapa misigi metikisika. A pastor has come and confessed that amekua kitumia the okatic powers. Amekua kitumia nguvu za giza. What will the righteous do? Bonus fiwe. And that is where the gap is. The issue is not with the man of God. But the issue is with the mashirikas. What will the righteous do? They are the righteous. Wow, diyo watakatifu wa mungu. What will they do? What is the position of a member mm -hmm. in a church? Mm -hmm. Mushirika kamuhujia. Mm -hmm. e, position yake katikati ya wahubiri mm -hmm. na wachungaji na ile kanisa anaenda iko wapi? Mm -hmm. Because at kanisa sio kanisa. Mm -hmm. the, you have to have something in a church that you go. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. You can only identify your coach mm -hmm. after identifying your problem. You can only identify your coach. After identifying your problem. See your kanisa zote unafaa wede. Because mushirika lazima ajue mimi ni nahitaji nini kwa mungu. Hapa mahali niko. What do I need from God? Who is my coach? You need to ask yourself who is your coach? How is that person connected to you? Ni ansa gani atareta katika maisha yako? Sababu hapa tunaongerea kuhusu a man of God mm. and then tunaongerea kuhusu members. Mm -hmm. Members ambao wamekuwa 
subject mm -hmm. ambao wanakuwa sacrificed of your of your but i want to tell you as a member mm -hmm. wewe unaweza ukajifunika mm -hmm. nobody can touch you mm -hmm. kama umeshajua ukweli wewe ni nani katika Mungu mm -hmm. hakuna mtu mkubwa mm -hmm. katika madhabahu mm -hmm. the only big person in the altar is the person who understand who his god is mm -hmm. Mtu yote ambaye anajua mugu yake ni nani mm. that is the mightiest person in the altar. Mm -hmm. Mtu hata akivaa pete mm -hmm. akuje nayo hapa mm -hmm. na wewe umejisikia mm -hmm. hiyo pete haiwezi kukuwa affect mm -hmm. it cannot affect your judgment mm -hmm. it cannot affect your life. Mm -hmm. Shida ni kwamba washirika wengi mm -hmm. hawajajielewa. Mm -hmm. Hawajaelewa wameitwa kama nani. Mm -hmm. Unaona mm. watu wengi washirika wakienda kanisa wanaenda kutafuta ile kitu watapewa okay. they are following signs and wonders mm. na the bible haijasema true prophet mm. ni yule ya kona signs and wonders true. there are true characteristics of a true prophet mm. and there are also characteristics of a of false course. prophet mm. na ukitaka kujua mm. somebody is a true prophet mm -hmm. you look you follow after Mm -hmm. the testimonies mm -hmm. because the bible says and their fruit shall abound mm -hmm. matunda yao yataishi yataka mm -hmm. so it is a person you will follow up mm -hmm. and you will see that their fruits abound mm -hmm. alafu utafuata the false prophet mm -hmm. agalia ni nini kinamfuata mm -hmm. you have to be very keen on those things mm -hmm. a true prophet mm -hmm. is not known mm -hmm. by the miracles they perform mm -hmm. No if you remember Moses before Pharaoh mm. Moses aliambiwa na Mungu mm. enda na hiyo kijiti mm. uiweke chini mm -hmm. na Moses akachukua kijiti mm. akaiagusha chini mm -hmm. immediately ile kijiti mm -hmm. ikakuwa nyoka mm -hmm. sasa wale the the wachawi mm -hmm. waganga mm -hmm. walipoona they also have the power to do the same true wakarusha miti yao chini mm -hmm nayo ikakuwa nyoka mm. unaona yeah. sasa wakati miti yao nayo ilikuwa nyoka mm. so what was Mo had Moses done mm -hmm. nothing true literally hiyo haikuwa mujiza kubwa mbele ya wachawi yeah. because umefanya ile kitu tunaweza fanya, fanya. Mm -hmm. so the only difference hapa mm -hmm. ni kwamba wakati hizi zingine ziligeuka nyoka mm -hmm. eh, ile ya Musa mm -hmm. ilimeza zingine zote mm -hmm. That was the difference. Mm -hmm. Na nataka kukuambia figuratively mm -hmm. you do not rate a man of God because of the miracles they perform. Uh -huh. Because even witches they perform. can perform. Okay. You do not rate a man of God uh -huh. based on the prophetic message mm -hmm. they give you. Mm -hmm. Unabi mm -hmm. sio ishara kwamba huyu mm -hmm. ni mtumishi wa Mungu. Mm -hmm. Ah false prophets mm -hmm. wanatoa unabi. Mm -hmm. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Na Biblia inasema ni, ni vizuri kuna mtu atasema mm. lakini apostle tumeambiwa tujaribu unabii mara mbili mara ngapi? Mara tatu. Mm. I can assure you even 400 times mm. unaweza ukajaribu unabii mm -hmm. na uwe ni wa uongo. Wa uongo. Ni wa uongo. Mm. There is a place in the Bible, the book of First Kings mm -hmm. chapter 22. Mm -hmm. Sitataka kusoma because mm. it's a whole chapter. Mm -hmm. But I want you to go and read mm. First Kings mm. chapter 22. Mm -hmm ate biblia inasema mm. ate kuna wakati walikuwa wanataka kumuua Ahab mm -hmm. god wanted to kill Ahab mm -hmm. but Ahab alikuwa amejikinga yani security yake mm. ilikuwa kubwa mpaka Mungu mwenyewe alikuwa ameshindwa kuipenetrate mm. sasa biguni wakaulizana how do we kill him mm -hmm. na one lying spirit mm -hmm. roho ya uongo mm -hmm. ikasema i will do it mm -hmm. it presented itself before god mm -hmm. ikasema nitafanya hiyo kazi mm -hmm na ilikuja ikaingia 400 prophets mm -hmm. wali prophesy the same mm -hmm. manabii 400 walitoa unabii mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. so for me usiniambie if i don't see a characteristics of god in that prophetic message mm -hmm. so it doesn't matter how many people have spoken mm -hmm. mimi kwangu haijalishi mm -hmm. because unabii wote unapimwa na neno mm -hmm. mtu akikuletea unabii akwambie mm -hmm. Huyu mke uko na yeye si wako. Aha. Huyu mke uko na na umezaa watoto watatu na yeye. Yeah. Na wengine wamezaa wanne. Yeah. Mtu akikuletea unabii mm. kama hiyo akwambie huyu si wako. Mm. Ulichukua mtu ambaye si wako. Ah. That does not rhyme. Kwa sababu Mungu atuchaguliwa wazee. Mm. God does not choose husbands mm. for people. Mm. And God does not choose uh, wives for people. Mm. 
Mungu akikuelekeza kwa mtu fulani ukose kuenda. Mm. Mungu ameshamaliza. Kweli. So it is for you to live with your decision. Mm. If you chose this person to be your wife mm. or your husband, mm. hakuna nabi mm. anafaa kuja kukuambia mm. eti huyo si mke wako because the Bible says a door iheshimiwe. Mm. Na Mungu mwenyewe Yesu mwenyewe kwa maneno yake akasema mm. because of the state of your heart mm-hmm. that's why God allowed you divorce. Mm-hmm. Lakini Mungu hapendi taraka. Yeah. So lazima tu, tukiwa kanisa tuangalie moyo wa Mungu kwa aje. Mm. Every prophetic message mm-hmm. must walk hand in hand mm. with what the Bible says. Mm-hmm. Hakuna unabii unafaa kukiuka neno la Mungu. Mm. Unaona? Mm. So usipime mchugaji na miujiza mm. miujiza huwa haipimi mm. and then wacha nikwambie right now we are in a generation that mm. everybody is power hungry mm-hmm. everybody wants power mm. everybody wants money mm. now that one includes even the men of god mm-hmm. na dio wengi wameenda kutafuta nguvu za giza mm. wameenda kutafuta occultic powers mm-hmm. dio upate Uh, up, upate hiyo exposure mm-hmm. kama vile hiyo testimony tumeisikia mm-hmm. let me tell you something eh uh, hata sio wachugaji peke yake hata mm-hmm. wafanya biashara mm-hmm. wanafanya hivyo hata mm-hmm. watu wa familia unakuta mtu mm-hmm. wa familia anapata anatafuta guvu mm-hmm. na akorede ku sacrifice anybody in the family in the family ndio apate utajiri huyo mchugaji amepata power mm. amepata pesa na amepata kila kitu mm. let me tell you something about it hizo vitu zote amepata that is actually not what he needed mm. saa zingine unafikiria hizi ndizo vitu nataka mm. this is what i need mm. that's not what you need mm. and it's good to ask yourself kwa nini Mungu hajaniaminia kitu fulani mm. kwa nini Mungu hajaniaminia mm. unafaa ujiulize na wewe mshirika ile kanisa unaenda wewe unaenda unajiadikisha kama memba do you feel in your heart that that is your place have you prayed about it mm-hmm. ama uliona muujiza mm-hmm. ukakimbia mm-hmm. what did you follow mm-hmm. do they teach the word mm-hmm. can i give you characteristics of a, a of a true prophet yeah. a true prophet mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. a true prophet mm-hmm. is a man with an insight of god ni mtu ambaye amesikia sauti ya Bwana. Huyo mm. ndio nabii wa kweli. Mm. Nabii wa kweli ni yule mtu hata kutembea kwake, mm. kuongea kwake, mm. kufanya vitu yake, mm. he has the insight of God. Mm. Yeye anajua Mungu vizuri mm. na anaongea ana, ana display. Mm. I keep telling people mm. a man of God is not known by the anointing. Mm. A man of God is known by the character. Mm-hmm. Ateke. He is not known by anointing. Bad, bad character. character. Yes. Mm. Kwa sababu wengi wako na mafuta mm. lakini character hakuna. Mm. Mm. Because mafuta ya Mungu mm. it is ready available mm. kwa waaminio. Mm-hmm. The anointing is not for men of God. Mm-hmm. It is for every believer. Anybody be it a member mm. if you are a believer the anointing is there. Mm. So what makes a difference between us is mm. our characters. Mm. Character zetu. Mm. It is only today mm. unaona mtu amesimama anasema mm. ama pastor mm. but i have three wives yeah. i have two wives mm. lakini kwa biblia unakuta kabisa hata timothy amepewa hey. characteristics ya mchugaji mm. characteristic ya bishop mm. unasikia ni bishop but i have two wives mm. i have three wives mm. na watu kanisa wanajua mm. alafu eh, siku hizi ndio unaona kanisa mchugaji anawacha mke wake yeah. anaoa mke mwingine mm. it is only these days mm-hmm. but that is not biblical mm-hmm. that is not a man mm-hmm. a man who is a role model to couples mm-hmm. wewe ukiwa kapo mm-hmm. ukiona mchugaji wako mm-hmm. ametupa bibi yake akachukua mwingine mm-hmm. and that's where your husband is going mm-hmm. what do you think will happen to you next mm-hmm. acha utafanya hivyo si mzee ataoa mwingine yeah. Na kwa sababu pasta ameendosi ni basi. Mm. Unaona? Mm. So kanisa ya leo imegojeka. Mm. Imegojeka. So it's upon the members. Mm. Na wao pia wachukue nafasi yao waanze kuomba. Mm. To understand the will of God upon their lives. Mm. Alafu wacha nikwambie kwa madhabahu ya wachawi if you have known your God. Watu waingie kwa Zaburi 50 mm-hmm. verse 5. Mm-hmm. Uh, Psalms 50 verse 5. Mm-hmm. It says 
gather my saints who have made a covenant with me mm -hmm. by way of sacrifice. Mm. Wachawi wote, mm. waganga wote, wanajua the only way to make a covenant is through sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Unaona mchawi anajua brother ameenda. Yeah. Mama ameenda. Mm. Mtoto ameenda. Mm. Alafu kuna watu wengi karibu watu sabini. Mune sema mm. sili se. Mwaka ni 72. Mm. Ahori ya 72 mm. members. Mm. Unaona? Mm. Sasa, ha, kama, kama watu wa dunia wanajua siri ya dhabihu. Mm. Kwa nini watu wa mungu hawaja jua siri ya dhabihu? Mm -hmm. Kwa nini watu wa mungu hawaja fanya maagano na mungu? Mm. Demonic people, they know how to make covenant with their demons. Mm -hmm. Lakini watu wa mungu hawaja jua kufanya maagano na mungu. Mm. Na diyo hapa Daudi unasikia kiambiwa, aki, aki, aki sema, mungu anamuambia, gather my saints mm. who have made a covenant with me mm. by sacrifice. Mm. Nimekua nikiongea kuhusu kuvuja madhabahu ya uko. Mm -hmm. Unajua kama wewe kwenu kuna madhabahu mbaya. Mm -hmm. I, madhabahu mbaya inasimama kama mulango mm -hmm. wakipepo katika maisha yako. Mm -hmm. You become a victim. Mm -hmm of anything. Mm. Laana ikiachiriwa mm -hmm. because of the evil author. Mm -hmm. Unajikuta you are partaker of that curse. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu Biblia inasema laana bila sababu haimpigi mtu. Uh -huh. Proverbs 26 verse 2. Yeah. A costless curse mm. will never land. Mm. So if a costless curse will never land, mm. why is it that people are cursed? Mm. Na hiyo laana inaanguka kwao. Mm. Kwa nini mtu mm. nabi wa uongo mm. anakutoa kwa madhabahu? Mm -hmm. ya, ya wachawi mm -hmm. why would they give you as a sacrifice mm -hmm. in the demonic altars mm -hmm. you know why mm -hmm. because there is an open door pastor wako ni akiwa nabi wa uongo kwa nini akutoe mm -hmm. kwa madhabau ya wachawi mm -hmm. you know why mm -hmm. kwa nini utatolewa kwa madhabau ya wachawi mm -hmm. utatolewa kwa madhabau ya wachawi kwa sababu wewe katika maisha yako there is a spiritual open door that allows every wickedness to penetrate you. Uh -huh. Unaona? Uh -huh. Kuna kuwa, kuna gap. Uh -huh. Kwa sababu kama mugu anasema haimpigi mtu. Uh -huh. And you are Christian. Uh -huh. Kwa nini inakupiga? Uh -huh. Inakupiga kwa sababu uh -huh. kuna madhabau bado inaongea. Uh -huh. Madhabau ya waganga. Madhabau uh -huh. ya waganga ya kwenu labda idisema. Uh -huh. Kwenu mutakufa na premature death. Uh -huh. So here, uh -huh. unakuta madhabau ya kwenu. Uh -huh. Inakuogoza kwa madhabau ya false prophet. Wakati false prophet anatua toa kafara zake unakuta mm. unaendea huko. Wewe utaenda. Wewe ndio unaenda. Si watu wote wanaenda. Uh -huh. I want you to learn something. Uh -huh. Si watu wote wanaenda. Uh -huh. Kila mtu ambaye amejua Mungu wake uh -huh. na amejua kuvunja hizi madhabahu za uko. Uh -huh. Madhabahu zote zinaweza act uh -huh. like a, like a, 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 like a, an entrance uh -huh. in the spiritual realm. Yaani unaingiliwa tu kirahisi. Uh -huh. Hiyo madhabau ukivunja yote. Mm. And then you raise a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Unakuwa umefunga mlango. Mm -hmm. Hakuna nabi wa uongo. Mm -hmm. Hakuna mchawi na mganga. Mm -hmm. Abaya naweza kakurushia raana. Mm -hmm. Ikuangukie. Mm -hmm. Now that's why we need to come up to a place mm -hmm. of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Abraham alijuana na mungu vizuri. Mm -hmm. In the mountain of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Wakati alipanda mlima. Mm -hmm. Akiwa amebeba the only child. Mm -hmm. Akamweka kwa madhabau mm -hmm. as he was about to kill that child. Mm -hmm. Dio mungu akajua kweli huyu mtu ananipenda. Mm -hmm. Hapo ndipo alijua mm -hmm. kweli Abraham ananipe. Ananipenda. Akamwambia usiwe mtoto. Mm -hmm. He provided a ram. Mm -hmm. Sasa wakati Abraham anateremuka. Dio mungu anamwambia now I know mm -hmm. that you love me. Mm -hmm. Na sasa hapo dio can make covenant na Abraham. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are also called mm -hmm. the children of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu alitoa thabihu bele za mungu. Mm. Thabihu ya uchungu. Mm. Sasa, watu wengi hawaja elewa the spiritual implication of when you raise a godly altar. Mm -hmm. When you raise a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. When you raise a sacrifice, mm -hmm. unajitoa kwa madhabau ya uko. Mm -hmm. Abraham alitoka kwa watu wabawa walikuwa wanaabudu miungu. Mm -hmm. The land of Chaldeans. True. Those people were astrologers. Mm. Waliabudu mwezi mm. na nyota na jua. Mm. Na hao diyo unaonanga hata kwa gazeti leo unakuta nyota. Kila siku imeandikwa mm. kwa gazeti. Those are astrologers. Mm -hmm. Wakijaribu kutuandikia. Mm -hmm. Connecting us with the sun god, mm -hmm. the moon god, mm -hmm. and the stars. Mm -hmm. Wanajaribu kutuuganisha na hizo miungu. Mm -hmm. Abraham alitoka huko. Mm -hmm. Na sasa Abraham 
ndio adhibitike kuperekana na Mungu mm. ilibidi atoe dhabihu mm-hmm. ilibidi atoe dhabihu mm-hmm. if you read the bible clearly mm-hmm. abraham isaac and jacob mm-hmm. both of all of them mm-hmm. walitoa dhabihu saba mm-hmm. pamoja wote mm-hmm. mabarali zigogo na shigana saba saba mm. sasa wakati walinua and each altar they raised there was a sacrifice mm. And each author there was a sacrifice mm. waliinua madhabahu mm. there is a great secret mm-hmm. wa, wakati watu wanajua mm. Mungu wa madhabahu mm-hmm. saa hii kuna misuse of the word grace mm-hmm. unaona mm-hmm. the young people mm-hmm. are deceived by the message of grace mm-hmm. message of grace mm-hmm. ni kusema Yesu alikufa msalabani yeah. tunaokolewa kwa neema kwa that message has mm-hmm. been used, misused mm-hmm. na inaenda kupotosha vijana mm-hmm na wale watu hawataki wa kubeba uzito wa injili. Mm-hmm. The Old Testament mm-hmm. is the foundation mm-hmm. of the Bible. Mm-hmm. The New Testament is the new uh, covenant with God. Mm-hmm. Without the Old Testament, we do not have the New Testament. Mm-hmm. You cannot say mm-hmm. you are under grace. Mm-hmm. That's why you don't want the Old Testament. Yeah. Unaona? Mm-hmm. Sasa turudi kwa the Israelites. Mm-hmm. The book of Numbers uh-huh. chapter 23 uh-huh. 1 to 25 uh-huh. tutakuta ile story ya Balaam and Balak uh-huh. and the bible says uh-huh. kukawa eh uh, mtu wa Mungu ameitwa uh-huh. Alaani uh-huh. wa Alaani Israel uh-huh. he was called to curse Israel uh-huh. sasa wakati alikuja alimwambia aliwaambia build seven altars uh-huh. Nijege madhabahu gapi? Saba. Madhabahu saba. Mm. Listen, this is a man mm-hmm. who is ready to cast people. Mm. Na yeye akasema, mm. build for me seven authors. Mm. Nataka uelewe, hakuna mtu anaweza akalaaniwa mm. wakati madhabahu ya Mungu inaogea. Na ndio akasema build for me seven authors. Mm-hmm. Na in every author akapeana very special instructions. Mm-hmm. Akasema kuwekwe kwa kila the author iwekwe mm-hmm. abur mm-hmm. and aram. Mm-hmm. Abur and aram. Kwa nini ameweka dhabihu bilibili kwa kila madhabahu? Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu Abraham, Isaac and Jacob walikuwa wote wameweka moja moja. Aha. They had not put two yeah. sacrifices. Kila yeah. oh, kama ni ngombe ni ngombe, uh-huh. kama ni mbuzi ni mbuzi. Uh-huh. But huyu uh-huh. being a wicked priest uh-huh. na anajaribu kutafuta jia ya kuwalaani, uh-huh. he ordered for two, two double uh-huh. sacrifice, uh-huh. a bull uh-huh. and a ram. Uh-huh. Sasa wakati alikuwa na, ana, anategeneza, uh-huh. let me nisomee watu. Uh-huh. Yeah? Mm-hmm. And he said to Balak, mm-hmm. build seven altars here for me mm-hmm. and bring me seven bulls and seven rams. Mm-hmm. Balak did as he was told. And he and Balaam offered a bull and a ram on each altar. Then Balaam said to Balak, stand here by your burnt offering while I go see where whether or not the Lord will meet me. Mm-hmm. Unaona, anamwambia simama. Mm-hmm. Bere ya dhabihu zako. Mm-hmm. Simama, ametoa hizo dhabihu zote. Mm-hmm ndio apate mwanya mm-hmm. ya kulaani. Mm-hmm. Ebu ebu tusikie vile Mungu Mungu alimwambia mm-hmm. I have built seven altars and offered a bull and a ram on each. Mm-hmm. The Lord told Balaam mm-hmm. what to say and send him back to Balak mm-hmm. to give him the message. Mm-hmm. So he went back and found Balak still standing by his burnt offering with all leaders of Moab. Balaam uttered this prophecy. Mm-hmm. Balak king of Moab has brought me from Syria. From the eastern mountains come and speak for me he said put a curse on the people of Israel mm-hmm. how can i curse what god has not cast uh-huh. so all you are wa mungu their forefather abraham isaac and jacob they had raised sacrifices for their lives mm-hmm. and for israel's sake mm-hmm. kwa hivyo there is a voice that is defending them mm-hmm. now wakati hii sauti ya Mungu inawatetea another person tries to raise another author mm-hmm. to cast them mm-hmm. na akaijaza mm-hmm. eh, dhabihu akaogeza mm-hmm. nayo sauti ya Mungu inauliza how can i cast what god has not cast mm-hmm. na b mm-hmm. amekuja amelipwa mm-hmm. do you know he was paid yes. had some mm-hmm. he was paid to come yeah. and cast yes. na akapeana instructions that the bill zile zitatolewa mm-hmm. But the Lord put a word on his mouth. Mm. How can I curse? Mm-hmm. What God has not cast. 
or speak of doom mm -hmm. when the Lord has not. Mm -hmm. From the high rocks, mm -hmm. I can see them. Mm -hmm. I can watch them from the hills. Mm -hmm. They are a nation that lives alone. Mm -hmm. They know they are blessed more than other nations. Mm -hmm. They know they are blessed Best more than more. other nations. Mm -hmm. What happens when you raise a godly altar? Mm -hmm. uh, what happens? Uh, that altar will speak continually. Kwako mm -hmm. na kwa generation. Ni vile watu hawajaelewa the, the impact of raising a godly altar. Mm. Watu wana, wa, wamefuata cheap eh, gospel. Mm -hmm. Cheap gospel ni hii inasema grace, grace. Mm -hmm. Watu wanatenda dhabi wako wada grace. Mm -hmm. Watu wanafanya vile wanataka wako wada grace. Mm -hmm. Watu wanakula nyama za damu wako wada grace. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. Mm -hmm. You have to ask yourself. Kwa nini mungu mm -hmm. vitu zigini alisema tusifanye. Mm -hmm. Ebu, if you want to be a strong Christian, mm -hmm. look at the life of Abraham. Mm -hmm. Abraham was a man who walked with God mm. in covenant. Mm. Na hapa dipo, dio siri mungu alinipatia. Mm -hmm. For us to overcome mm -hmm. the battles that we face as people and Christians, mm -hmm. you have to look at your generation. Mm -hmm. Abraham alikatwa. Mm -hmm. Unaona? Mm -hmm. Abraham ni kukatwa alikatwa mm -hmm. from his generation. Mm -hmm. Aka kuja, aka weka covenant na mungu. Mm -hmm. And God made a covenant with Abraham. Mm -hmm. Akaweka foundation Israel. Leo sisi tunaitwa wana wa Abraham mm. because of the covenant he made. Mm. For you to last and for your generation to last, mm. you need to have a covenant with God mm -hmm. and that covenant is through sacrifice. Mm. Na nikisema sacrifice, mm. mimi naogea kuhusu dhabihu. Mm -hmm. Abraham when he was going to the mountain, mm -hmm. alikuwa anatoa jasho. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa anatoa jasho because the sacrifice was his only son. Mm -hmm. That was uh, he, he was sweating. Mm. Siku hizi watu wanasema wanatoa sacrifice mm. lakini hata hiyo sacrifice ikipotelea kwa jia. Like Hawezi hata kasimama kwa jia. Mm -mm. Haijamkarimu kitu. Mm. You see why Abraham was sweating because he could see Israel mm. many years to come. Vile watapigwa, mm. vile wataigiriwa, mm. vile watakuwa wamesaraudiwa, mm. but alikuwa amejua hii dhabihu itawatetea mm. throughout the generations. Mm. Leo hii hakuna inchi imezingirwa mm. kuliko Israel. True. Israel iko na maadui wengi, mm. but they are a very strong nation mm. according to this word. Mm. Even today they are a very strong nation mm. and they know they have been favored by God and they continue to win mm. because the altar that was that was raised mm. Inaogea mpaka saa hii. Mm. Inaogea mpaka saa hii. Mm. Ukiinua dhabihu ya Mungu, mm. itaogea kwa maisha yako mpaka saa hii. Mm. Esa mushirika. Mm. Ebu jiulize sababu ninaenda kwa ile kanisa. True. Kuna madhabahu inaniogelelea. Mm -hmm. Kuna madhabahu inanitetea mm -hmm. ama nimeenda kuwa sadaka mm -hmm. kwa watu. Mm -hmm. Unajua unaweza enda kwa kanisa kumbe wewe ni sadaka. Mm -hmm kwa mchugaji. Mm. Unajua how do, how do they know that you are a sacrifice? Mm -hmm. They check. Wachawi huwa wanaona ah. kwa madhabahu. Not everybody not can everybody. be eh, not everybody can become food Aha. in the wicked authors. Aha. Lakini utakuta wale watu wanatengenezwa wanakuwa chakula. Mm -hmm. If you look at their background, mm -hmm. kuna madhabahu mbaya kwao. Kuna madhabahu mbaya. Uh. Unajua kuna watu hata wanakufanga vifo baya. Uh. Kwao hakuna kifo mzuri. Uh. Atakutana na mtu wa dugu ya kisu wa kufe. Uh. Mwigine atakutana na waizi wa mpige ya kufe. Mwigine uh. ni risasi. Uh. Unaona? Uh. Kuna watu wanakufa vifo hizo. Uh. And it is good to ask yourself. Mimi ni mainuria mungu madhabahu. Uh. Have I raised an altar uh -huh. of God in my life? Uh -huh. Have I raised a sacrifice that will speak on my behalf? Mm. You know, unajua kwa nini ninajibu hivi? Mm. Ninajibu hivi dio watu wa Mungu waelevu wajue mm. mahali tumetoka maybe mm. you are a victim mm. continuously mm. because of the voice that speaks. Mm. Israel mm. ile neema iliwashidania iliwa ni zile dhabihu zilitolewa na Abraham. Mm. Abraham, Isaac and Jacob zile dhabihu zote walitoa Dio zilitetea Israel mpaka sasa. Mm. Nabii anataka kutabiri vibaya alawalaani mm. lakini anageuzwa anawabariki. Mm. So today wacha nikwambie kila mshirika mm. wachana na chip eh, 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 grace message. Mm. Neema ya Mungu iko. Mm. Lakini kuna mizizi. Mm. The Biblia ikimaliza mm. ukisoma Malachi chapter 4 mm -hmm. verse 4 mm -hmm. inasema Do not forget the law of my servant Moses which I gave to you mm -hmm. on Mount Horeb. 
do not forget do not forget mm -hmm. sasa hapo mm. ilikuwa imebakisha mistari miwili mm. old testament ikwishe unaona mm. two lines mm. old testament ishe mm. lakini mungu anasema do not forget mm. the law of my servant moses mm. which i gave him mm. in mount horeb mm. sasa hapa tukitoka hapo mm. 400 years mm. hakuna kitu inaendelea mm. then the new testament mm -hmm. inakuja mm. new testament inakuja wa, kuna wakristo wanataka kuacha the old, old. waende na hii new testament mm. na yet mungu akimaliza old alisema please do not do not forget mm. the law of my servant moses mm. which i which i gave in mount horeb Mm -hmm. Sasa saa hii watu wanataka kufuata injiri potovu. Mm. E, injiri rahisi. Mm. Let me tell you our father Abraham mm. hakupanda mlima rahisi. Mm. He was sweating. Mm. He was crying. Mm. He was bleeding in the heart. Mm -hmm. So do not be deceived. Mm. Do not be deceived. Mm -hmm. A false prophet mm. nikupatie characteristic ya haraka haraka mm. will preach what people want. Mm. Aha. Unaona? Eh, eh nabii wa uongo anahubiri ile kitu Kwa watu wanataka. Eh ni? Mhm. Ile kitu eh. watu wanataka kusikia. Eh. Hiyo ndio wanahubiri. Mm. Eh wanahubiri zile vitu watu wanataka. Mm. Yeah, they present the truth mm. mixed with the errors. Mm -hmm. Hapo ndipo unasikia watu wakisema mm. unaweza unaweza uka, uka, ukafanya dhambi, mm -hmm. unaweza oa mke wa pili sio dhambi. Mm -hmm. Unaweza fanya hivi na hivi. Mm -hmm. God was not stupid when he gave Adam only one. Mm -hmm. Kama yeah. ingekuwa ni, ni, ni Mungu ni mapenzi yake angeweka bavu tano hapo. Mm -hmm. Abi Abraham chukua. Mm -hmm. Limeni hiyo shamba na mabibi yako watano. Mm -hmm. But God gave Abraham one. Mm -hmm. So hii ukweli mm -hmm. ya Mungu isichanganywe na uongo. Mm -hmm. e, na wa, wale wachugaji wanataka kuchanganya watu. Mm -hmm. Watakukotia maisha ya David. David had so many wives. You want to quote the life of David. Mm. You want to quote the life of Solomon. Mm. Solomon is the man mwenye alikuwa na mabibi wengi lakini yeye mwisho wa siku akasema hapana nimerudi pahali Mungu alianzi. Mm. Alisema ukae na bibi moja, moja. Mm. na ukunywe maji kwako. Mm. Kisima ya kwako. Mm. Solomon. You see now ijiri potovu grace mm. ina, inafanya watu unakunywa pombe mm -hmm. na bado umeokoka. Mm. Ata, bado ni mhubiri Yesu aliibadilisha eh ati Yesu aliibadilisha ati mujiza wa kwanza kana ya galili mm. ilikuwa kutengeneza pombe mm. unapata ni mchugaji anakunywa pombe analewa mm. na anataka kutetea injiri mm. those those are the characteristics mm -hmm. in short a false prophet is a person who looks like an angel uh -huh. lakini ukikaribia vizuri uh -huh. amevaa nguo nyeupe mm. lakini ukikaribia vizuri utaona to to stains uh -huh. Unamaliza na mtu amevaa nguo yeah. ya, ya, ya white. Lakini ukikaribia no, uh, unaona yeah. to dot. Yeah. Sasa that is the false prophet. Mm -hmm. Ataonekana ni malaika. Mm -hmm. Lakini ukikaribia mm -hmm. utaona mm -hmm. to dot. Mm -hmm. To dot. Mm -hmm. Na hizo dot ndizo zinakwambia hapa sio pazuri. Mm -hmm. Kuna shida. Kuna shida. Kuna shida. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. That is the false prophet. And then false prophet mm -hmm. they enslave people. Mm -hmm. Eh. Mm -hmm. Ate ukitoka hapa uh -huh. na Qur'ani. Mm -hmm. Hakuna mtu anatoka hapa ana succeed. Mm -hmm. Ukisikia ile maneno ikitoka kwa kinywa ya mchugaji. Mm -hmm. Elewa kwamba unafungwa. This is a person who wants to enslave people. Mm -hmm. Watu si watumwa. Eh. People will come to your church they go to another eh uh -uh. mm. watu lazima wa experience the fullness of God mm. if God has given me the ministry of deliverance mm. i have to allow people to go and experience another ministry mm. eh hey, kuna mwalimu hodari sana wa neno mm. waende wamsikilize mm. kuna mwalimu mwingine mm. naye ana, anafanya hivi na wewe uko na mwalimu wa neno mm. wao washirika wamekuja kwako elewa walitoka kwangu mm. <laughs> kwa hivyo na wako wako wakitoka waende wacha Qur'ani. Eh. Because people have to experience the fullness of God. True. Unaona? Mm. People have to experience the fullness of God. Mm -hmm. So, this false prophet mm. they seek to enslave people. Mm -hmm. Unakuta watu mm -hmm. wanawainamia. Mm -hmm. Watu wanaanguka chini wakiwaona. Mm. Eh? Mm. They pro produce very strange disciples. Mm. Unapata mtu wako na watu wanatembea na wao mm. na ni very strange mm. watu wanaonekana hapana mm. eh? mm. yeah wow alafu ndio wameingia wameingiza watu kwa kwa grace messages 
Eh, hey, do not worry. Mm. Nobody is going to heaven. Mm -hmm. Eh, hey, usijari. Mm. Eh, hey, uko nyuba bado haija jengwa. Mm. Mm. Ukisahau kuomba usijari. Mm. They are not building intercessors. Mm. They are not building power for people. Mm -hmm. Eh, hawa okay mambo ya deliverance. Mm. Wanaipiga hawataki deliverance. Mm. And if you read the book of Obadiah 1 mm. verse 17, the Bible says, and uh, upon, but upon Mount Zion mm. shall be deliverance mm -hmm. and shall be holiness. Hizo vitu bili zikikosa kwa kanisa. Yeah. Obadiah 1 17. Mm. But upon Mount Zion mm. there shall be deliverance and, and there will be holiness. Mm. And the house of Jacob mm. shall possess their possession. Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. any church that does not have two mm -hmm. deliverance and holiness, and holiness between me and you, Hapa, mm -hmm. Akuna Mutu Aitaji deliverance, Akuna Mutu Asikudanganya, mm -hmm. but you taskia watu wa meambiwa mm -hmm. cheap messages, Hakuna deliverance. Mm -hmm. eh. Just do what you will do. Eh. Neema Iko. Neema Iko, Unambiwa Kira Wakati Neema. It's by the grace. <laughs> Ete, do you think we are Unaweza Gioko? Mm -hmm. It's by the grace. Yes, we know. It is by the grace of God. Mm. But that grace cannot be misused. Hiyo mm. neema isitumiwe viba. Vibaya. Isitumiwe vibaya. Mm. The grace of God mm -hmm. cannot be misused. Mm -hmm. And nikitoka, mm. uh, you have to understand. Mm. Do I have a covenant with God? Mm. Do I have a, an author that, that speaks speak. for me? Yes. E, unaweza kuwa unatembea na umeokoka. Lakini mm. madhabahu ya mababu. Mm. Ilireta laana mm. ya premature death. Mm. Ilireta laana ya rejection. Mm. Ilireta laana ya, ya failure in marriage. Mm. Failure in business. Spirit of poverty. Mm. And yet you are walking, looking for deliverance mm -hmm. from author to author. Unakuta mm. mtu anazunguka madhabau zote. Mm. Na mambo haija eleweka. Mm. The only secret you need to know. Mm. Renounce. Mm. Denounce mm. all the ancestral altars. Mm. And finally with your own two hands. Mm. Raise a godly altar. Mm. That will Go to the man of God. Mm. Tell the man of God, I want to raise a godly altar mm. that will speak for me. In my generation. In my generation. Mm. Hey. Amen. Now you are the forever and ever. Amen. Amen. What a powerful message, Apostle. Mm. I personally have learned something. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, uh, kwa history pia nye tu, yes. ongelelea, mm. that uh, sio kila mtu hata mm. kama we ni mshirika na uko ile kanisa yenye uko hata kama huyo mchungaji wako mm. ni wagiza yes. na anatoa sacrifice na mm. washirika kuna wale hawezi kuna guza kuna hawezi guza hawezi guza guza eh. kwa sababu ana, wanaona ni nani wanaangalia nga ni nani yes and uh, when you have a strong altar yes you will be untouchable because mm -hmm. you are protected you are by protected God. by god the mm -hmm. author is speaking is speaking for you yes now yeah. what what the end of proverbs 26 mm -hmm. verse 2 mm -hmm. proverbs proverbs 26, 26 verse 2 hapo ndipo utaelewa kila kitu atiraana bila sababu haipigi mtu ukiona kwenu mmepigwa jua kuna sababu kuna sababu kuna sababu na hata usijaribu can i tell you something mm -hmm. very small mm -hmm. Laana mm. haina nguvu. Mm -hmm. A curse is not powerful. Mm. A, a, a curse mm -hmm. is powerful mm -hmm. when it is activated by mm -hmm. the evil author. Mm -hmm. When there is an evil author or evil foundation in the family, mm. that is what empowers a curse. Mm -hmm. Lakini laana ikikosa mahali ya kukanyanga, mm -hmm. Bibide inasema inazunguka, mm -hmm. kama like kasparo, mm -hmm. And uh, 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 like uh, like a sparrow, mm. vira ina a sparrow ni 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 ira kadege eh, kadogo, eh. vira kana ruka ruka hivi mm. na hakas hakashuki. Mm. That's how a cast ina zuguka hivi hivi eh, na mm. haishuki, mm. haiwezi mpira mtu. Mm. So two things, mm. altar, altar, and a cast. Mm. A cast is not powerful. Mm. An altar is the powerful force mm -hmm. that empowers. A curse. Mm. Mm. Wow. If you have a godly altar, mm. you will be untouchable. Yes. Because your foundation mm. is strong. Yes. And uh, Pastor Apostle, eh, naeza taka utuambie, mm. sasa kwa huu mchungaji, mm. can he be delivered? Yes. He can be delivered. From all that? Yes. He can be delivered. Mm -hmm. uh, he has a, an opportunity to be delivered. Mm. He has an opportunity to come back. 
Mm. Uh, he has an opportunity to come back. This is not the end of him. Mm. The first step mm -hmm. and a bold step that he took mm -hmm. is to confess. Mm. That confession will mm -hmm. bring him salvation. Kumanisha mm wakovu -hmm. wake umeanza. So right now he can denounce. Mm -hmm. Already mm -hmm. uh, choices have consequences. Mm -hmm. Choices have consequences. consequences. Mm -hmm. What he has suffered is the consequences of his choices. Mm -hmm. So number two, now he needs to ask himself from here onwards, mm -hmm. how do I go? Mm -hmm. God has preserved his life. Mm -hmm. He needs to do it very fast. Mm -hmm. He needs to do it very fast. Mm -hmm. Run to the living altar. Mm -hmm. Anajua kuna madhabau za kweli, mm -hmm. akimbie kwa hiyo madhabau, mm -hmm. alirie hapo. Mm -hmm. Let him run to a godly altar mm -hmm. and cry to God in that altar. Because it is the only altar itamuokoa. Iyo diyo madhabau itamuokoa. Mm. He made a covenant mm. with demons mm. and witches. Mm. Sasa aende afanye maagano sasa na mungu. Mm. Avunje yale maagano ya kwanza. Mm. Jenge maagano mengine ya mungu. Mm. Every time when I have people mm. come to build altars. Mm. Watu hukuja hapa wananiambia. I want to raise a godly sacrifice. Mm. Eh, I lead them to pray. Mm. Ombi ya kwanza is to denounce all other altars. Mm -hmm. You denounce them, you disassociate yourself with all of them. Mm -hmm. Then you raise a godly altar. Mm -hmm. That is the same case with this man of God. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Mm -hmm. Denounce all those altars mm -hmm. and then raise another altar. Mm -hmm. Make a covenant with God. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, at least hapo uh, tumeelewa vizuri mm. but now before i leave there mm. is this one person alikuwa ameandika kwa message mm -hmm. uh, kwa comment on my youtube channel mm -hmm. akasema yeye ni bibi ya mchungaji mm -hmm. na bwana yake mm. ana akona room ambayo huwa ingi mm. na anafanyanga hizo vitu mm. na amemwacha because amejua mm. kanisa yake si ya ukweli mm -hmm. Sasa anauliza afanye nini jua juu ya anaweza afanye nini. First, Maybe you can talk to her. Yeah, first of all, what you need to understand mm -hmm. is that if that person is occultic, mm -hmm. ata we uko kwa hali hatari. Mm -hmm. So you need to run to a living altar. Mm -hmm. You go make a covenant with God. Mm -hmm. Agaria nyumba yako, mm -hmm. uenda ufanye maagano na mungu. Mm -hmm. You have to make a covenant with God. Mm -hmm. You have to raise a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And when I raise a, I talk about raising a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. What wana jis, wengine wanasema mimi sina pesa, mm -hmm. pesa nyingi za kufanya maagano hapana. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Bible, mm -hmm. what mtu kama Solomon mm -hmm. because he was a rich man, mm -hmm. he gave a thousand keto. Mm -hmm. So unajua ile madhabahu yeah. alitoa ngombe mm -hmm. 1000. Mm -hmm. That was his level. Mm -hmm. Na kuna mwingine anatoa kodo moja sababu dio oh, level ya. Yeah, yeah. Na mwingine anatoa ngombe. Mwingine mm -hmm. anatoa hivi hivi. Mm -hmm. Unaona? Mm -hmm. All those sacrifices mm -hmm. you do on your own level. Mm -hmm. Sasa wewe mama mchungaji umeshajua kuna occultic powers mm -hmm. you need to raise a godly altar mm -hmm. for you and mm -hmm. your children. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dio ajiondoe nayo. Dio ajikinge nayo. Mm -hmm. eh, ajiprotect nayo. Wow. Eh, and wacha wacha nikwambie mm -hmm. hakuna siku mm -hmm. Nuru imewahi hakuna siku mtu amewahi akisha stima mm. kwa nyumba ilikuwa imejaa giza mm. giza ikasema siendi eh yeah. yeah, inai so i have never seen <laughs> true when tr the truth is raised mm. darkness has no choice but to go mm -hmm. ukiingia kwa nyumba yenye giza nataa hivi mm -hmm. giza haina budi lazima itoroke mm. so you mm. kama wewe ni mtu wa nuru mm. when you raise a godly altar mm. Hiyo altar itafukuza giza. Mm. And that's why God instructed Gideon and told him, mm. and Gideon build me an, a permanent altar mm. by the gate. That permanent altar means any other altar that will come mm. after mm. will not will be useless. useless yes. Yeah. Uh, mm. Wow. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, we have learned a lot mm. uh, from today's topic mm. and may God bless you Amen. and enlarge your territories. Amen. Thank you guys also for watching mm. and for the support mm. and I'm sure that you have learned a thing or two mm. from Apostle mm. uh, Jenga. Oh, uh, Apostle Teresa no, Jenga. Ni sawa. Ni sawa yote ni yako. Yote ni yangu. <laughs> eh, barikweni sana na tukienda mm. I'm sure kuna mtu mwenye anaweza taka maybe kukufikia mm. because of the message that you have given us. Yes. Atakufikia aje. Yeah, my contact number is 0722 337140. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. My contact number is 0722 mm -hmm. 
Na niseme every Wednesday niko hapa. If you feel like you have something confidential to share with me, especially after that topic, every Wednesday, ukifika hapa mapema, by 8.30 a.m., utakuwa ume, utaandi kwa jina, and I'll be able to see you. I'll be able to see you, and tutaomba pamoja. Every Wednesday ninakuwa na siku ya deliverance, na siku ya prayers. That's when we raise our sacrifices and mm -hmm. we raise our altars. Mm -hmm. I told people, God told me, mm -hmm. let we need to go back to the mountain. Mm -hmm. we, we need to go back to the to mountain. The, mountain. the mm -hmm. mountain of sacrifice, mm -hmm. the mountain of covenant. Mm -hmm. If you look at the Bible, mm -hmm. hakuna mutu walitembea na mungu. Bida maagano. Very true. Yes. Yes, very mm -hmm. true. And uh, uneza tuweleze maybe kanisa iko hapi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kanisa iko hapa kasarani. Mm -hmm. Kasarani hapo kwa dio. Mm -hmm. Kasarani ukishuka stage ya kwa dio, kanisa iko hapo utaona bango kubwa hapo, mm -hmm. synagogue of Hope Church, mm -hmm. is just a few meters from the road. Mm -hmm. A few meters from eh, the road. Mm -hmm. Kama unachukua Google map, wale wana drive, mm -hmm. eh, chukua synagogue church, kasarani. Yeah, Itakuleta ita tu ndani. Mm -hmm. If you go to Google, mm -hmm. weka synagogue of Hope Church, kasarani, mm -hmm. it will bring you here, mm -hmm. direct. Mm -hmm. Wale wanakuja na matatu from town 17B. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Asante sana. Thank you so much. God bless you. God Amen. bless you all for watching. Amen. Asante. Asante. Welcome to Tabiri Homes and Properties. We are located in Royro Kimbo at Spa Mall, first floor, room F39. We always ensure our clients are well served. We are selling plots in Kilimambogo, a project we are calling Mountain View Gardens. This project is located 40 minutes from Thika Town and 10 minutes from Oldoin Sabuk National Park and 20 minutes from Kangundo Ruai bypass this plot they are 50 by 100 piece of plot and they are going for 310,000 kenya shillings only for cash buyers and you can still pay this plot in installment you just need to deposit 50,000 Kenya shillings and clear the balance in six months installments. And this amount is inclusive of your title deed. Remember, upon completion of your installment, you will get your title deed in less than 60 days. We take our clients to a site visit every Wednesday and every Saturday at 10 a.m. Book your site visit today and invest with Tabiri Homes and Properties Limited and be a happy client today. You can call us 0719393939. Tabiri Homes and Properties Limited. Invest with us and protect your future and that of your generation.